I just knew at the end of the day, we had to deliver. This was going to be the end button. This was going to be it, right? This was going to sum up all of this work and all of this story and et cetera. And we just like, we wanted to kill it. And um, yeah, I mean, I would say we did. This is the word to go, yo, go. Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Grown Ass Women TV. Oh, yes, thanks for asking. That is indeed a hashtag. Hashtag on TV. It show is, and your ladies are here. So, Cal Valvi, we've got Lisa Maria Barron, we've got Mickey James, and it's our favorite time of the week. We have a great episode for you this evening. But before we get to that, do us a slave. Like this video. Put those thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. Put two if you want. Two. Two thumbs up. Uh, yeah, make sure that you're subscribed. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a thing. And click that bell icon. Give it a ring a ding ding. Lisa. I know. This I did order. Yes, I ordered. I am. I ordered my bell. Ooh. So it should take a while. But um, very excited. Um, and our YouTube uh, subscribers. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thanks for uh, sub sub subscribing. If I could say that. Yeah. I can't. I'm you already done three times fast. Yes, I'm always, I'm always so excited for our guests. That's why I'm so thrilled. But um, don't forget to subscribe. You get the juicy, juicy content. Um, a lot of hottie toddies mm -hmm. and videos from each of us and just a lot of goodies. And mm -hmm. sometimes live chat. So get 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 to liking these um, videos because the more likes we get, we'll bring back the live chat. The mm -hmm. more perks. Yeah. yeah. Get perks. The perks, baby. Speaking of perks, you guys. What a perk we have for today's episode of Gaw TV, who uh, this woman is such a dear friend, such an icon, such a trailblazer, such a all the things that represent what being a Gaw is, obviously. Right. And it was so beautiful to see um, almost this homage to you, Lisa, in uh, their match at Payback. Um, and when... I messaged her and was like, you guys, I messaged both of them. I was like, you guys freaking killed it, right? And she was the one who says, hey, let's come on. I'm going to come on Gaw. Let's talk about it. Let's gawk about it, right? Let's yes. talk about it. <laughs> yes, yes. It's none other yeah. than our dearest friend who is a multi-time guest here on Gaw TV. Yep. The legend icon, the goatess of all goats, Miss Trish Stratus. Yay. It's going to be stratifying. It's very stratifying. No one's leaving without being stratified. That's for mm, sure. Absolutely. That's a Gaw TV absolutely. guarantee. Hello. I'm just, I'm coming. I'm coming. Am I here? Did you I are here. here. You are here, oh, madame. I'm here. Oh my like God. All drink from our straws. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, we do. I we do. Wrinkles all around our lips. Oh no. Not on exactly. that TV. It's Remember, true. we used to drink out of straws not to get our teeth stained from coffee and all that, and then it causes the wrinkles around the lips. You can't fuck you can't. you can't. You can't. You can't. But I first want to say, Trish, thank you for being on our show and being like an exclusive outside of everybody else's podcast requests and stuff. But um, it's such an honor to have you on our show, and we love you so much. And I want to just say, a big thank you, a big, big thank you from the bottom of my heart, honestly. Words cannot put it. I just can't say just those were good words. I already oh. I know, uh -oh. I know, I know. But but it was really cool though, you guys. That um, she called me like a um, couple weeks before and to yeah. ask if she could do the widow's peak, which a lot of people don't really do that anymore. And it, and I was like, Are you kidding me? Please do it, do it, do it. The only thing I have is she kicked out of it. Damn it! Oh. <laughs> I, said, I said, Oh man, she's gonna kill me. But you yeah. know, Beth is very strong. So, She's strong. Um, you know, <laughs> I don't it, know what it was such like, a nice strong. Yeah. I would just had messaged you and I was like, you guys killed it. First off, you guys killed it that night. It was incredible. Contender, everybody's saying contender for match of the year, which you, know, you must be so proud. But I was like, I just want to. And then you said, you're like, well, hey, let, let me come on, go and talk about it, which, you know. I felt I, that was really touched my heart because I was like, oh, that was really I nice. just think it's, it's apropos, right? Like, I feel like a little bit like and I spoke to fit after the match as well. It was almost like repping our generation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it was like almost like, uh, 
<laughs> you know, for our generation. And I know my whole platform has been like, I did it. Everyone look at me. Right. But obviously it's, it's, it's the, there's a we in there. Right. And so like, it, it's something that we all did. It's the foundation we all laid. And it was kind of like, an, I felt like a giant nod to it. You know, that's what I wanted it to be like. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, so it feels apropos to come here, of course. And then just like, um, like Lisa, like I just wanted to, like, it was funny because I was like, I got to ask her. And then we kept playing phone tag forever. We finally, and she was so excited. Like you were so excited when you, uh, you're like, oh my God, of course, you know? Yeah, I didn't um, tell anybody either. I didn't tell anybody. Oh, you didn't? That's you didn't awesome. tell us. I love that. No, oh, yeah. no, no, I didn't tell yeah. them. Not yeah. at all. I wanted you know people who told to us the internet because it went huge as yeah. it should. And the match, as you said, match of the year candidate for sure. I'm sure everyone in the live chat is agreeing with us right now. But what a lovely, classy way to play homage to to Lisa. And then you also did a few other things in the match, you know, to sort of showcase others and, and kind of pay gratitude, as you will. But yeah, I mean, the match itself, though, I mean, despite that, what was your mindset going into this match? It was a big deal. Obviously, we're all Becky Lynch fans as well. But what was your mindset like heading into the match? Um, I, this was huge for me. I think they're knowing, you know, what we had dealt with as far as our storylines and kind of like people were sort of like, the story is still going. And I'm like, please, like, it's funny, Mickey, because I think of this, like, there was a bit of that, right? There was the storyline was dragging and things like that. But it is, it's booking is booking. So I think back to like, Mickey and I always bragging about having hashtag the longest rivalry in history. Oh, shoot, we might have we might have trumped that, Mickey. We might have. No, I don't think so. I I don't think. So. No, 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 you don't think so. No, no, no. <laughs> Just do the math. I mean, I actually like, counted the days the, and the hours. Yeah, like we'll talk and... about from. Right, you're right. It, not from my return, but from when I got a little evil. Yes, you're right. Maybe it's it's we still hold that. Um, but it was like, and I think you know, back in the day, I don't. I, we didn't have the I don't want to say luxury or not luxury of the internet as uh you know as much of of a tool I guess um that you would read after your your stuff like you know can you imagine us going oh what's this jack angle like is this thing gonna ever end like we didn't have to deal with that we just knew we were like and and this is always your gauge my gauge is always like what are the what what's the fan engagement like what is the audience doing what how are they reacting and they were super on it like there's those people the naysayers so but it does get in your head right a little bit you read it and you're like oh okay I just knew at the end of the day we had to deliver this was going to be the end button this was going to be it right this was going to sum up all of this work and all of this story and etc and we just like we wanted to kill it and um yeah I mean I would say we did um it felt like it mm -hmm. it felt good I felt and it's funny because um you know I've been back for I guess like six months, right? Like it's been since February yeah. that I've been back yeah. and it, I felt the most dialed in. And, and, and that is such a great place to be where you're just like home and you guys know it when you're just home. And it's like, I felt comfortable. I, I heard the audience. I saw the audience. I felt everything. It just felt so good and like dialed in and that, you know, it, it tribu attribution to the character development and the storyline and where we were in the story and what it meant for fans to like go on this journey with us and get, you know, it's the same thing WrestleMania 22, right? Mickey was like, we knew that level of engagement was because we took them on this long journey that they were mm -hmm. with us for so long and whether it's too long or whatever that thing. But like by the time we got there, they were there and they were ready for like what was going to unfold. And so it felt really good. And like to get that part, like to get to that point in your career where you get those moments, it's like right. a blessing. Of course, at this point in my career and in my life, <laughs> Whew, you know, it's, it's yeah. incredible. Yeah. No, there was a lot different. of, there was a lot of holy shit moments, like, especially you going upside down. Um, it was, it was, was, it was cool. a terrifying moments. Like it just, I was popping huge. Cause just that, Oh my God, I hope she can get back up. And it just, it just looked so painful. And you guys, that, that cage is unforgiving. It is, it's a real cage and it has yeah. spikes on it and it, it, it hurts, man. It really, really hurts. I didn't recognize a spot when, yeah. Oh my Does God. Oh my God. Oh my God. God. Is it real? <laughs> oh my yeah. God. I see it. Well, there real. goes our, how are you, what are you wearing uh, segment? Because you're wearing some exclusive bruises here on God TV. I'm wearing some exclusive God. bruises for God TV. Yeah. I have one as well oh. here, but I decided it's, it's a little, it's, it's better for the hair to stay in the toque at the moment. Um, That's <laughs> oh, my oh my God. Oh my God. So I'm not oh, wearing public right now too much because people are like, uh, blink twice if, um, you know, are you, do you need some help? Do you are you safe? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I got the wrong another, another spot that I popped you, John, when you went for the trip, the, the satisfaction, and then she did this, and I thought she oh, was yeah. going to go into the Boston. You remember, Mickey and yeah. Trish? We went to the Boston to double. Yeah, yeah. And then, but she came up, and then it did the exchange, and I go, oh, my God. 
we did that. I was like, so uh-huh. excited. Like, mm-hmm. There's a lot of like, oh, it was just a excuse my Classic language moment. And also the match was just perfection. It was freaking perfection. And you know how it takes a lot for us to say that was a perfect match. But that yeah. was it was just goose pimple and just not even as a girls match. It's a freaking good match for anybody. Period. Period. Yeah, thank you. I oh love God. the time you guys took the time and like didn't rush anything and made all yeah. these like magical moments and like little callbacks and dude the yeah. dangle spot from the cage when you were upset, which was so I, I do have to say that's one thing that I felt like you were always really great about is like making these unique moments that they hadn't seen before. And like I've never yeah. seen anyone anywhere nope. hang upside down. And I've down. always thought that. And, and you, you know, I do that. I go to my way to like, like even when I first did the Matrix the first time, I was like, okay, I remember Lisa, we had that match and I was like, and I busted it out and we were like, oh, it's going to be so cool. But knowing it's not just like something cool for me, but like something for the fans. But wait, we know it adds to the match. When you have those like oh, moments that like someone's never seen or whatever, it adds it's something we are doing together that adds to the, you know, dichotomy of our match, right? So, right. Um, yeah, so, uh, but literally like I just, I've never been in a cage. I've never been in a cage, never been. I just, I was like, so there's one really? part where I was like, no, I've never been in a cage. I, no, never been in a cage. I've never been. I, no. I mean, I, I literally, the week before I was like, I was at the baseball, I was at the park with my kids. And there was a baseball diamond. I'm like, I better go see what this, and I was like, my feet don't even go in here. This can't, this is not the cage. This, can't be the, this is the cage. I'm screwed, you know? Um, right. So we, I did get a cage. Let's just say I stepped into a cage earlier at one point. And I was like, okay, let me just, what can, what can we do? Like my, my head was like, what's, what's different? What can I, even when I had the ladder match, I was like, oh, um, I actually worked with um, my stunt guy who worked with me in the movie. And I was like, I'm going to come play. I'm going to come play in your dojo. And we just played around because I just wanted to find stuff that was different. And you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but that thing, I just knew as soon as I sat on the top, I knew that like I could, I used this playground stuff, right? I knew that I could hook my feet under and do a little thing. And so I did right. it. And people, there was a large gasp around me. I'm like, man, this is the reaction I was going for. Perfect. Right. Um, and so it just, yeah, something different to add to yeah. something like, oh, everyone, you know, I'll take you on that ride. Yeah. I think it's so hard now because it's hard to surprise anyone anymore. Like everyone's kind of yeah. already seen everything. And that's the thing that this match has so many elements that it was surprising and painful. And there was such a story there. If we can talk for a moment about your opponent, Becky Lynch, I've worked through a few times. She is an absolute doll. I love that she brings the fashion just like you ladies do. Um, talk to us about Becky Lynch and working with her and how it's been. I'm sure she was a huge fan of yours as she was growing up. I think she's what, tw- uh, late 20s or so, right? She's a little younger than me, I think. Yeah, just, exactly. Just just under you. Like you're about 20 issues of like maybe she's maybe a teenager. 21. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should go to school together. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, she uh, you know, we we started to interact. They came to Canada, WWE came to Canada, they asked me to host the Canadian shows. Um, and I knew I'd be interacting with her on those shows. And so we just started a little something some on, online, right? A little Twitter war, so to speak. And I remember people were like raving about that, like, oh, this is so exciting. And, and no, I think. You know, and there's always those dream matches and panties matchups and stuff. And I don't think anyone ever put Trish Stratus and Becky Lynch together, right? They just, mm-hmm. it was always, well, Sasha Banks was like, is sort of like, he's been in the running because we had that sort of epic and memorable face-off in the 2018 Royal Rumble. Um, and so uh-huh. people just kind of fantasy match. They go with like old gen, old gen new gen. I'd let that be cool. And so, and then I'd hear the odd, you know, whoever was champ at the time, <laughs> they'd throw that at me. Um, and so I didn't really hear Becky and then when we started doing that sort of people were like, oh my God, this is a dream match. Like best of this gen, best of that gen. And people were interested, right? So we saw the interest there. Um, and then we just kind of eventually, I mean, it took, a, I, guess, I guess, a good year for us to actually get to each other, maybe over a year. Um, and we finally got to each other and um, you know, we got to team together, which was great to be alongside her. Um, she's great. Like she's, you know, I'm uh, so of course, you watch a little closer after we worked together. I was like, and I sort of watch her a little closer because you get busy with mom life and not being in the in the world necessarily. Right. Um, and then just became a, you know, a huge fan watching her closely going, damn, she's really, she's really something special of this generation. Like she really brings mm-hmm. something like, you know how we always go, she wrestles like the guys. She does a promo like the guys. I don't know why that's our benchmark, but if we can not right. wrestle yeah. like a girl, it's better for yeah. some reason. Although nowadays saying wrestling like a girl, we should say is freaking awesome because it's great to wrestle like a girl the way we wrestle these days, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, she just really delivered. And yeah, and I, I bought into the hype too. I was like, yeah, that would be cool. You know what I mean? And right. so we worked really well together. Um, we connected. We weren't even, we, kn- we had never met before. And then um, 
we connected when she became pregnant. We, I just, you know, sent her like a, and just like, you know, maybe with those moments where moms just connect, right? Like mm -hmm. we just, uh, I sent her a, like, Hey, congrats or good luck with the delivery. And then, Oh, our, um, breastfeeding and just like everything. Right. So we bonded right. over that. We became good friends outside of wrestling. It was completely removed from wrestling. It was just mama friends, which was cool. Um, and then, yeah. And then, you know, as you know, when you get to work with someone, you become super, super close with them. And we got to really uh, explore each other and explore our friendships and dig into each other's brains. And we, we just wanted this to be something because it, it got a lot like, you know, there's storylines and things like that. But at the end of the day, it's like this epic generational face off that like you can never have again. You'll never have that dynamic. Like when are you going to have like LeBron and, and Jordan? When are you going to have Ali right. Tyson? It was kind of that. Right. So that's like fantasy matchup stuff that people talk about. And we were like, oh, this is so cool. We have this opportunity. And I mean, there was definitely Rock Hogan. There was that. But I can't recall where there was ever like a sort of a generational face off like that. And um, we, we knew, or Especially maybe there has for been the women, right. for the women. Right. And we just yeah, knew yeah. It's, it's a special opportunity to, to deliver something very unique, a unique dynamic. And uh, you know, we didn't want to lose that. We want to realize that that is what the focus is like to bring something really, very special to the fans. And we worked really well together and uh, I really enjoyed kicking your ass. So yeah. 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 And you really <laughs> did it. You did it. Really it. And she actually DM me and she goes, thank you um, so much for being part of our match. Oh, she did. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. yeah. Of course, another tear jerker too. Yeah. Oh. So it, yeah, it was uh, uh, so Trish, I'm just so freaking proud. Like it's incredible to see you and Mickey just like kicking ass still. And people think that we get too old to do it. And, mm -hmm. and you, you guys are raising the bar as as veterans do you know what i mean so i'm, I'm very yeah. proud of you guys oh we got together in, in england one time right and i remember going so you're like you're still wrestling every week what like i was blown away by you doing that too i was like yeah. that's insane meanwhile a year later here i am doing it right there but like it, it is mind-blowing right like i remember it being like i don't know if i could do that like sometimes like, just traveling to that con i was like oh i'm exhausted you know what i mean but you get an autopilot and it's like, at the end of the day, this is what we do. This is right. in our blood. This is our passion this is what we love. And at the end of the day, we love, I, I love to deliver. Like I, and I, and I, t I tell you the very first interview, ironically, when I retired, was like, when are you coming back? And I was like, uh, are we asking me that? I just retired today. Why is this question? <laughs> <laughs> but I had said, if I can deliver a hundred percent or if I can do, do what I do currently, I'll, 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 I'll bring it. You know what I mean? I never want right. to go back and give like, I'm going to give you 60% guys. You ready for it? You know, yeah. <laughs> it comes so, a good 40, a good 40 for you guys. A solid 40. A solid 40. 40. So I when it was kind of starting to come, but oh. listen, I was hyper vigilant on, uh, on, on just preventative measures on, uh, on, on preventive care. Like just like, the training I did, the the modalities I dipped into to make sure that my body could endure that and could deliver, you know, between yoga and I mean, acupuncture, like just uh, energy balancing, like just all these little modalities that I tap into um, that really just help like nutrition, like, how do you look like that? What do you, it's literally like, I drink water. Like I drink a lot of water and I, I eat avocados. Like, I don't want to be like jailers. Like I use olive oil, um, but it's like, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> it really is like take it, just taking care of yourself, man. It makes such a difference. It really is a reflection. Your outside is a reflection of your inside. Um, and so right. just like knowing if I was going to pursue this, I had to be hyper vigilant on pursuing these things in order to like make me maintain um, that level and uh, and that pace. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're also uh, you're so... actually. Oh, sorry. Tori no, texted a... me a yoga picture. You guys ran into each other in Orlando. Oh, guys, like what... how wild! I. So like I, I I popped over to Orlando. I might have popped into the PC to maybe see a cage uh, before the match. Uh, this is me. This is my hyper vigilant steps, right? These are like, what can I do to be, like I've always said, preparedness means opportunity. What can I do to fully prepare for this opportunity in order to maximize it? That's my motto. That's my MO, right? Um, so yeah, I, I I woke up. I knew I had to be at the PC at a certain time, and then I uh, I looked around like, okay, is there a yoga studio nearby? I have an hour to kill. Literally, there's one five minutes from the hotel randomly pick it go there and it's like one of these things where i'm putting my bag i i turn i go oh sorry oh sh what tori like wild like what yeah. we bumped right yeah. into each other it's not like she was in the class or she came late. like we literally were right there and i said oh my god it meant so much to like have someone of our gen almost it was like yeah a, you know what I yeah mean? it was almost yeah. like that she, like, she, she sent the video of, um to candace and i she goes you guys you're not gonna believe like out of everywhere, like, look who I ran into. She just sent the video. She didn't say I ran into Trish. She sent yeah. the video. Really. 
what the hell? Yeah, it was so crazy. So crazy. Funny. Oh my god. Oh, and it felt I said to her, it was serendipitous and it felt felt special and almost like a okay, I'm doing it for us girls. You know what I mean? That's what it felt like. You know, it was, it was, it was was amazing. It was so cool. I think that you were one of the first people who would preach like yoga to a lot Mm -hmm. of people to me, to everybody. You're like, especially when you came back from your first injury or when you were like, Oh my God, it's changed my whole life. It changed my recovery of your, my body and everything. And I love it. I do it. Mm -hmm. And now I I notice that it's so much more prevalent, especially I think in girls of our generation, because of the wear and tear that we put on our bodies for so long to then try to fix it. It yeah. helps fix it, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I love absolutely it. Does. Well, it lubricates your joints. It keep it just keeps you. I always look at it like this. If you take a hit and your body's like, ouch, that's gonna hurt. But if you have a bit of a malleable body, right? It's like you can kind of like almost absorb the hit better, right? Like in that right. in that way. So when you take whip, a whiplash motion six mm-hmm. times a night, it's not as bad, you know? Right. So when you think about what you're doing with your body, it's insane. I have a girlfriend yeah. who was in a car accident and she got whiplash. Okay, so it's you have whiplash. Here's your physiotherapy. She's still recovering years later. We do that motion how many times a night, how many times a week? Like it's insane, right? So right. yeah, we have a bit of a calloused body or whatever it is, but anything you can do that like helps you absorb the shock or whatever it is. Like guys, I, I mean, I must have taken a 12 to 15 foot drop, right? Just straight up on my back. Crazy. I woke up like, I'm like, okay, yes, I'm I'm completely bruised up. So, but those are superficial. I'm like, oh, okay, hi. No back soreness, no pain, no limbs, wow. bones, neck, everything. Wild. And I'm shocked. I thought, oh man, I'm going to wake up like, you know, that like hit by a bus feeling. Yeah. Totally fine. Yeah. Like, I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> so, and you didn't pee so yourself. Drink your water, ladies. <laughs> yeah. You didn't pee yourself. Vicky said, you didn't pee yourself. <laughs> I know. That we know about. Oh. That's an exclusive that we no. know. I asked her, I was like, oh, did you pee a little? Because I'm like, I think I would have peed a little on that super <laughs> So she's like, no, no pee. Actually, actually yeah. no pee, no pee. Wow. <laughs> you know, wow. And then we said you went no out for that no pee, pee, ladies. <laughs> when, we went move, when we went up for that move for the superplex from that high, I was like, uh, they're going to reverse it. Where? I was like, there's no way they're going to do it. There's no way they're going to do it. You did it. And I was like, holy shit. And I would have, I went for the pin. I thought that was the finish. Yeah, yeah, right. You can't I, get any bigger than I that. Was, I was hooked every freaking I love false match. Yeah, I can only really imagine that, that was your first cage match. I don't, I don't think yeah, anyone. I didn't know that either. That's shocking. Yeah, yeah, no, because we didn't get to do them. I mean, Victoria, Victoria and Lita were the first cage match ever, and and that was after I left, first of all. And so I remember just when they got, it, I was like, oh, that's so cool. I'm so jealous. <laughs> yeah, but we were you not. They told us not to use the cage very much. Sorry, exactly. Because, yeah, we were not allowed to do certain moves. And I was like, what? Why did you guys give us a cage match? We can't use it. It was, right. yeah. That's yeah, interesting. Was- Is that what happened? I can- I'm not even surprised, but yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because even like, there was one point uh, in my ladder match, never had a ladder match, by the way, because I was like, I was like, Saudi Arabia, ladder match? Hell yeah, sign me up. Let's That's go. Crazy. Yeah. How yeah. did I think that when- you'd had a... No, because we, we used to have the hardcore. That's it. That's all. Yeah, we just used yeah, one. Yeah, we used them. That's it. But we yeah. have a quick, like ladder match per se. Right. But there was a point yeah. where like I was supposed to feed to Becky and um, you know, the the um the announce table is there. And I was like, I've never even stood on this damn thing because we weren't allowed to touch the announcer's table yeah. because oh. it was for the, you know, <laughs> right? right? So I was like, I stood up, I felt like felt good, had that moment. I'm like, there's so many things that were like I, you know, and, and I like that now the women, we're just not just, we're, we're one of the athletes on the roster. We're not just women and men. And it's clear when you're there, like it really is about like, what does that superstar need to do? And it's really cool because before it really was girls, oh, girls can't do that because the, it won't right. look as brutal when the boys do it, if the girls do it. Do you remember that sort of thinking, you know? And yeah. so um, it just, I mean, so many things we, gosh, remember when you hit with the steel chair, that was like a big deal, like meetings. Yeah and talking to's and like, it was a whole thing, right? Yeah. And then we got in trouble going, going, coming back because they, you know, you're not trained how to hold the chair properly. Or, and I or upside down down right and, head head. and then they said, Trish, why didn't you have your hands up? You're like going, I want to take this. I want to take the steel cage. Right. We got, we got reprimanded. That, that, in yeah, the we, back. Did. we did. Like, I mean, that's hey. good. I mean, yeah, yeah. at least they are looking out for us. They don't want us to get a concussion, of course. But, you know, you and I were like, if we're doing it, we're doing it. You know, and that was that. <laughs> oh God, God. Speaking yeah. of reprimanding, there there are so many great videos. And because you and Becky were so great about the social media aspect of things, like you couldn't help but see all of these posts going viral and like these little digs and these, you know, great. But there was a moment where you went up to a fan the beginning of the match. Oh. And he's, it, it's, I've seen it a million times and I watch it yeah. every time because it's so funny. And, and he was yelling for Rebecca, Rebecca's going to win. And 
for lack of a better term, you put this guy in his damn place. It was so funny. And I love to see that sort of character. And cute. Yeah. Gosh, I was cute. So, when I say I was so dialed in, I was just like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> yeah. 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 I yeah. actually yeah. forgot that happened. Um, let's just say I might have forgot about a lot of stuff immediately after the match. I was like, what just happened? Hold on. I might have knocked my <laughs> noggin. But um, that moment was, uh, I, I watched it back. I'm like, oh, my God. I, 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 now I remember that guy kind of uh, heckling. <laughs> I don't know why I took right made to his guy. life. It is so funny. But again, like, oh, so this is greatest life ever. Mode, I want to ask all three of you ladies in that sort of heel mode, how easily does that come to you? And do you get lost in those moments where it's like, was that me? Did I really, you know, cut that much sass into, into my promo or whatever? Yeah. I think that's the beauty fan. of it is getting lost in it is to be able yeah. to get lost in it. But I'll say heel Trish is probably my favorite Trish. I love baby face Trish. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah, but heel fine. Trish is so damn fun and she sassy. She cuts meat, bro. She cuts yeah, meat. She does cut. <laughs> like an yeah. That might have been a, uh, I might have said, like, I've been asked if I'd come back. And it was sort of a sticking point for me. I was like, honestly, like, I didn't necessarily want to come back to baby again. I've been baby so many times and it's fun. But if I was going to come back, I wanted something different and challenging for me as a performer as well, right? For me to do something that's going to stretch my my acting chops and whatever, and just um, stretch the limit and challenge myself. Like, it's just something different. And, and so I was hoping to, that's, that was kind of one of my one of my things, like if I come back, I'd like to do it this way because, um, yeah, it's just, it's funner. You know, I've done that thing already. And to come back, that's the whole thing. I always say that too. If I could be challenged, then yeah, I thrive on challenge. So, um, so that was fun. That was fun. It was fun to find. And again, even, even matches alone. I mean, just the social media side of things has been so, so entertaining. And I'll ask all you ladies, the social media side of things, do you think that's actually helping storylines further or in it because it's got to be sort of a weird gray area to go okay how much are we going to reveal and and conceal uh, obviously it helped trish and uh rebecca uh, do the uh, becky do the the whole we didn't have that access yeah. and we were yeah. told to stay off social media still don't, don't read the stooge sites like that was yeah. our generation but yeah. um yeah, yeah. but it, it's just it's a good and bad because i think there's so much negativity in social media that it just like you overthink it and you know, I, you, you dare people to do what we do in the ring, you know, that's you do it, it. You, you try yeah. to make it better, you know? Yeah. 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 Well, I think that's where it comes down to is like, um, using it properly or, or managing it as a tool. Right. So <clears throat> if you go on and read about your shit and you think people say you suck and you're ugly and you uh, are mean or you're whatever it is, then you're like, Oh, and you can really feel like crap about yourself. Uh, but you know, you, you also have to go take it with a grain of salt. You're buying my heel character. Cool. Um, you know what I mean? So there's all that as well. And like I said earlier about like that, Oh, this feud is going too long. And it was, I'm, I'm sure the bloodline feud went too long, ladies and gentlemen as well, but it freaking delivered, you know what I mean? So um, you can do that, at, but you do have to take all the grain salt some people decide don't read it at all and step away i did that towards the end I'm like step away i'm just gonna do what i gotta do uh, and i mm -hmm. thought about mickey and i's feud i thought this feud could have been getting the same type of oh this is too long and why are they bringing in jack that's so random you know what i mean uh well right. we like jack didn't we mickey we loved jack jack's great leave jack alone <laughs> jack might have not alone leave Jack alone um yeah. so uh yeah so uh you know step away when you want to take everything with a grain of salt um talk to the people that you you know their opinions matter and, and you care about and you know they're being truthful and and there's also constructive criticism which also helps as well to develop and etc um but also so from the other aspect of like feuding and and feeding a storyline wow did I have fun like you're like like people would literally just go, you really look like you're having fun. I'm like, I am like, it's so fun, you know? And especially as a heel on social media, like me and my my team, like we we're making these graphics. I made several t-shirts, like I was all in. I was like, let's just, I mean, and I actually, and I, I've always said this in the wrestling world, people are like, how do you, you know, make sure you get good storylines? How do you preserve the integrity of your character? <clears throat> all these things. And it's like, it's really a lot of it is up to you. And sometimes, yes, your hands are tied because they're going to give you only so much or they have um, they have a dozen other people they have to think about tonight. So they're going to think of you a little bit, but guess what? You can think of yourself more and add to that. Like whatever they give you, just, you know, make it better. Um, and, or, and I always say, take your, whatever two minutes out, you have two minutes, make it the best damn two minutes you can make it. Um, but this allowed me to like, I mean, with the, we did like a whole missing 
I made the missing post and I did a missing t-shirt. And next thing you know, they're like, oh, we're just going to go with this as a storyline. Suddenly it was a storyline. So in a way I cre- you created your own, if it's, you know, if it's good enough, then they're going to go with it. You know what I mean? So right. it kind of helped and, and it sort of just um, perpetuated, um, perpetuated our, our storyline. So it was kind of cool how it added. And it was certainly a lot of fun to do. Um, oh I to- realized we totally forgot to do the who you wear and what you're drinking besides your bruises and your, yeah. she calls it a uh, toque, you guys. And I call it a bogging. I would say, what do you call it? I say beanie. A beanie? A beanie? beanie a I've heard you Americans. You know, I've heard you Americans say beanie before. Yeah. Beanie. You're a little yeah. beanie baby. <laughs> You're a little yeah. beanie baby. Yeah. Beanie baby. Val, what did they call it in that over over the uh, across the pond there? I don't know, but I'll probably get reprimanded for calling it the wrong damn thing. I can't tell oh. you all the differences. You're not over. representing. You're not oh, representing. Maybe that's yeah. who calls it a boggin. Maybe that's where I've gotten boggin yeah. from. Yeah, I've never heard this. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I, I I wore uh, just a little splash of pink because that was the color Trish wore when she did her whole entrance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was black. That for, that for me. Thank you. I'm sad, familiar. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm what just drinking. There, I'm no? drinking. You guys, I'm gonna. I, well, I wanted to shamelessly plug our, our new pro wrestling tees T-shirt here. And we have a new pro Love wrestling it. T-shirt and this little glass that my mom and got me. Classy, sassy, lost. and a bit. Badassy, oh, oh that's that's like, you. like us. And it's no, uh, it, no, it's not lost on me. The matching, the the gall, and the the blue, and the blue. I'm just saying, no, no, not that. That also, but okay, this, yes. What do we have here? Oh, what is this? The oh, sprite. Thing? It's combining two of my favorite terrible things: sprite what? and lemonade. What is one. this? I don't I know. So much- lemonade legacy. I think it's a it's a limited time celebrating 50 years of hip hop. Hip, oh. hip hop, hip hop anonymous. Oh, wait a second. Wait, isn't there like a maybe kids, kids in the chat? Um, is there something about a cranberry sprite that's like a thing right now? My son's t- on TikTok. Anybody? Oh, <laughs> I, don't know. I thought yes. that was it. I was like, oh, Maybe cool for that. I don't the even TikTok. know. TikTok, yes. yes, and the talk. I, I don't know about, about that, but I bet you, I, I know what it would probably go really well with is vodka. Uh, but there's maybe. none in here. That's no, true. I know. I'm shockingly, I, I only have a little raspberry. It's actually iced tea, but I thought I'd put it in a fancy mug. I have a little oh. bit of Rhode Island on my favorite high street shop here in the UK. And I'm the idiot telling these girls it's actually quite warm here for England. And I'm like, I'll pick a long sleeve top. And now I'm like, schmitzy. Yeah. Not nice. <laughs> uh, Victoria, what are we drinking? What are we wearing? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, I'm wearing my pink and black because of you. I, I had this really cute top, but I was like, it gave me a little muffin belly, and I was like, "Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this back on." And I'm drinking cranberry juice uh, out of our god little um a, a I fan love it. I did an appearance, and we got merch, people- sis. Yeah, I yeah. love it. I need yeah. some. Yeah, so we need to go buy it. We get Trish some gall some. merch. We will hook you yes. up, sister friend. Because no, you look gorgeous. I'll buy you don't it. have to buy it. Well, I want to. Yeah, we know. And I'll share the link. You know, drop it. Oh, um, I have a uh, stratosphere uh, from my fitness brand, a water. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Water <laughs> keeping hydrated. It keeps you young, folks. Um, I have a toque on, even though it's really hot. And I am spitzing as well. <laughs> Hair shawl. But I have a bruising and a whole like, you know, thing. So I just, I mean, I could show you, but I, I, I was trying to like leave it, but then I had like half makeup and I was like, Okay, I'll just I'll just show these yeah. guys off. Well, you wrestled, <laughs> that happened early in the match too, didn't it? Because you wrestled pretty much that whole match with a pot knot, with a pot. Yo, knot. that was up, no, made a bear trap. Guys, there was a moment where we were uh, hitting each other's faces, smashing each other's faces into the cage, and it just went. I must have been twenty times that went do 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 do. I might have thought, oh, this is gonna bleed. It's gonna be so cool. I weirdos. This is how we think. Right? We're like, oh, wouldn't it yeah. be so cool if I broke my skin and bled all over my face? Yeah. What kind of weirdos are we? Trish, we don't want to take up too much of your time. Good God, you've got healing to do. But <laughs> let us know anything that you'd like to say to your uh, adoring fans, us included, because we want to say thank you for being here and, you know, continued success. Wish to you. So, that was, sorry, did you want to say that again? What did you want to say to me? I thank wanted you. to say thank, thank you, Trish. Trish. Hashtag, hashtag. Now hashtag, you're hashtag. trending. You're <laughs> welcome. That's all I want to say. You're welcome. <laughs> Who is this? We're damn welcome. Yeah, no, you were just did it at the same time. Yes. Yeah, that's my end message. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, it's, uh, well, I've had so much fun. 
Um, and uh, I'm, I'm just happy I got to land here. This is my first landing is with you guys. And I, I'm, it was so fun oh, to be able to honored. talk about it out loud and, and uh, I relive the experience. Um, it's been such a fun, you know, uh, time so far and uh, so far. So, yeah. And uh, I'm glad we got to make this happen. Yeah. Well, right? I was I think, well, we're honored to have you, obviously. And I think it would, it would like it was so beautiful to see that whole piece like just kind of transpired because I remember when we were talking about you going back and, and I, was, yeah. I was like oh you were excited and all the things and like to see how it progressed and the amount of time you know yeah. like it, it was I don't know if it was longer than you anticipated yeah and no it was like, definitely <laughs> with definitely and with all the other things of like oh the match getting pulled at SummerSlam but then seeing the fans react to yeah. that like they were hot yeah. Yeah. they were hot yeah, but then really they come back and come to, with a match that like honestly it's you set you guys set the bar pretty damn high and I think yeah. that you did it and you did it for us for all of us of our generation and for mm -hmm. this newer generation it says that dream matchup of like you know the goat versus the the new goat the little yeah the, kid. the, the billy goat the kid, the kid. baby the kid, the goat yeah. versus the kid. <laughs> oh that's adorable. that's what a baby goat is right they're the, kids right? The, the man yeah. versus mother okay yes so <laughs> oh my god like, i'm so proud of you thank you for thank you. like representing us old timers um <laughs> myself so yeah. um i love you i love you i love you too i think it was it was important i think what we did if you look at the magic we created back in the day having the opportunity to have like no opportunities to creating the opportunities to take advantage of the opportunities um we were so blessed and so lucky that we did that and uh and and you know the fact that we tried and we we delivered every time we were given those like once in a lifetime chances at the time it was once in a lifetime right um and so and then having it and then you know for me to tip dip my toes back in the waters of the foundation that we helped create, I guess you can say, right? Like I always say this, we definitely built the foundation. They built a freaking skyscraper on it. You know what I mean? Like they've done it over and above. Like they're just, you know, amazing. The current crop is incredible and it's been incredible to watch everyone and to enter like i have the chance to get in with bailey and to get in there with you know just um eo sky like just like you know dakota like everyone has been incredible i love watching i love watching people's processes i've always enjoyed watching people how they work in the ring how they how they how they work how their mind gets to where they need to get to for matches things like that like as a performer i appreciate that um so it's been really really great to see and 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 then hear the little stories where they're like I remember watching you and Victoria and I was like, I, I want to do that one day. And you're like, oh, wow. Like we influenced a child to become here and now I'm in the ring with them. Right. So a, I'm old, but also that's in pretty, you know, pretty incredible. So I'm um, thankful for those opportunities. And um, yeah, I'm just glad I got to rep the girls and do what we do. And, you know, I remember the, my, my favorite thing was when I talked to you, I like you said, so Victoria, you guys all know, right. Like she leaves voice memos. This is her thing. Right. So she go, I go, any tips? And she goes, no, no tips. You're, you're great. You're going to be awesome. I can't wait. It was like short little question. And I get about 14, 30 second clips from you. And you're like, oh, okay. So when you do it, make sure. And then make sure. And also do this. And don't let anyone kick out of it. And there's all these like. <laughs> <laughs> there's, so there's, there's, like there's, a, there's a certain way to do a power bomb on, on like somebody. Because especially, um, you know, Trish, you guys don't realize how tiny and little she is. And if someone's yeah. taller, there is a sweet spot for. Yeah, to, agreed. Uh, to get, yeah because. I, I I thought every time I can do it. And then, um, you know, like when I do independence, I only ref or manage, you know, I might hit my widow's peak and I'm yeah, like, right. Oh, shit, um, this girl's freaking tall. I didn't have her the sweet spot. You know what right. I mean? So it, yeah. it's like, yeah, it, cause it started she's politely saying they, she dead asked her is what she's trying yeah, to say. And David on the side, he goes, I thought you didn't have any tips for her. I go, well, it's all coming back to me now. Now I'm not <laughs> in and PTSD and things, all the things that went wrong. And I'm like, oh, no, no. And don't forget. And then you have to do this. Okay. So, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, basically yeah. it was all, all, all the things you said running through your head, running through your head. All the things she said. Oh, I think she said that. In my head. Oh, that's good I did there. Um, but no, uh, there was a moment where, yeah, she goes, the one thing that I definitely, like, not that I didn't note your other notes. I was like, noted, noted. Okay, find the sweet spot. Okay. And then she's like, then you've got to do the thing, you know? So I was like, I, I had to the do crazy that. Hair, the crazy hair. The crazy hair. Yeah. yeah. Love yeah. yeah. And then I read yeah. somewhere, I, I read a couple of people were like, I love how Trish Stratus is trying to do the crazy face, but she actually made a sexy face. I was like, mm. <laughs> it's just her face, ladies and gentlemen. She can't. My face. I'm sorry. It's my face. It's your face. Face. <laughs> just your face. Oh it's my, just my face. God. Well, final <laughs> cheers to you, Trish. Thank you for being here. And again, wishing continued success. We can't wait to see what's next for you. And thank you for having so much mm. fun with us. Oh, there's a little thank you. I can't wait for Trishmas. 
Let's see you. Let's you. Time. It's a date. So you, I, can't I can't wait. Yes. 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 So so order the mistletoe. How order your, your Christmas outfit. We're going to do a Christmas um, theme, right, Mickey? We're going to do yeah. a Christmas theme. Yeah. We're going to make a whole thing. We're going to get people involved. We're going to get Christmas yeah. merch. It's going to be amazing. I Stand by, wait. folks. I'm going to be <laughs> Rudolph. What? Okay. I'll take a shirt that says Trish Smith. I'll take a shirt that says Trish Smith. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll get it. I'll, I'll I'll get it. And it's you it. as a Trishmas tree. Come oh, on. Dress. In like yoga pose, like yoga tree pose. Oh, yeah. And I'm tree singing. pose. Okay, let me talk to my merch team. Perfect. <laughs> this is the word to go, yo, go.